23 minutes long. I, I thought it would take you longer. Hello to the Meg. Hello to Aaron. How are you? Good. It's rolling away. It's rolling away. It's rolling away. Whoa, it's rolling away. Okay. Going straight is prettier. Here, we have more lights. Oh. Is that so you want to go snowboarding? No, but I can bring the book and drink hot cocoa. You want to go with me snowboarding? I don't know. I'm going to go with Alex. When? Uh, when he gets back from uh, Costa Rica. Well, it's just the last time I went, I got hurt really bad. There's a learning curve in the first couple of times up. I mean, I'm willing to Turn? try it again. Oh, sorry. Well, you only live once. Right? Sure. We could all go together. The, 
the lift tickets $89 per person. I like this tree. I know, isn't that cool? Yeah. I, ca I captured it on the way home also. Yeah, yeah I like that it. That is really cool. It's even better when it's darker out. But... Um, the gas tank wouldn't let me fill. It, it, it must be just because it's older. I don't know. Yeah. Probably better to keep the gas tank full anyways. In the winter, just in case there's a freak snowstorm or something, it's, it's better to have it full. But it won't even let me actually fill it. it, it put, I, I took a no, I know. Just fill it as much as you can. I That's took what a, I, I took a picture of... Um, I filled our gas can, the 6.5 gallon one, with 6.1 gallons. And then I add 3 ounces of fuel stabilizer to it. Oh, wait, uh, just to have backup. for backup, because that's enough to run our generator for... we got window... It's enough to run the generator for 70 hours. There's supposed to be a really big snow, or not snow, sorry, windstorm, either tonight or tomorrow, or a bit of both. So whether or not school is closed, it's hard to say since we, if we're out of power and we can't get the power on by a certain, certain point in the day, then we're forced to close. Right. It just, it happens. It was $23.99 to fill the gas can. Oh, and I, when I, deposited, I put $25.25 in the car just now. $25.25? I, I was going for $25 even, but when it overshot by one penny, I went for $25.25. <laughs> I like my number patterns. Number patterns are fun. Speaking of number patterns, to fill the gas can was $23.99. <sighs> and the deposit between the two checks my mother gave me and the $100 gift from that random woman uh, amounted to $244. That's cool. So the gas can cost exactly 10% almost of what I deposited to fill. Yeah, the dude was looking at his phone instead of looking to see if a car was coming. In That's the, not intelligent. In the UK, where gas is nine dollars and eighty cents a gallon, to fill the gas can with six point one gallons would cost almost seventy dollars instead of twenty four. So if we if we wanted a backup generator in, in the UK, the the cost of storing fuel would be that much higher. And even with the fuel stabilizer, I still have to make use of the fuel, um, or it'll go bad within twenty within twenty four months. But they say to use it within the first year because the the oxidizer effect doesn't last forever and you get what's called effluent chemical transmittance between the container wall and the gas volume of the garage which slowly poisons the gas with oxygen from the air from the walls of the container and it would be really intelligent to store the gasoline in glass jugs but you can imagine why people don't do that right if you have gasoline in a glass container and it breaks, what happens? Gas goes everywhere. And you can't give regular people glass containers because they don't have the requisite level of neurological focus to not break them. Which is why little kids aren't allowed to have glass water bottles. It's aggravating when you try to teach me something that's co obviously common sense. Okay, so in engineering, risk management is really important. So metal cans and, ga and plastic cans are going to be your dominant gas can. Now metal is not um, transparent to chemical vapor, but it's prone to rusting if there's any moisture in the fuel. Yeah, it's this crew of guys right here. I encountered them on my, on my way over. It's a, a group of three. I got into that uh, bulldozer on the side of the road, near our, um, on the feeder road. They, don't, they left it unlocked. And I could have gotten in and started it and drove it off because I looked up the manual on how to use it earlier. Yeah, those those things are eighty. Sure. They're yeah. eighty thousand dollars. I'm not going to move it at all. I took a panoramic image of sitting in it, but I don't. I don't want it. I don't have anywhere to put it, and I couldn't put it to good use. If someone gave that to me, it would be a burden, right? 
what the hell would I do with it? It weighs 10,700 pounds. This? That one's even more expensive. That's a Komatsu. Those are, this one over here retails for almost $80,000. It's diesel. Um, it's pretty cool. I mean, you can use it on a farm. If I, Russell would be the only person I could actually think of that could make good use of that. Um, it's, it's coming up here. I might have to go close the door though more because I think I left the dome light on. Aaron. Okay, hold on just a second. Let me out. I didn't mean to.